Let's apply gradient descent for the first time. This will be a very important algorithm and I really want you to understand this in detail and this is why we're going to do this quite slowly at first. And we also take a very simple problem at the beginning now, uh, the problem of fitting a straight line. And we are given three points that don't lie on a sing single line, a straight line in 2D space, but nevertheless we'll find the closest fit. And the first thing we'll need here is um, our model, and our model is just the line equation. Well, in the lecture you saw, and we'll see um, from now on many times, that we often take such a form. So, given our feature vector, the model that predicts yeah, our, our y value here, is defined as w transposed times x. And what this means, this uh, especially this uh, yeah, transposition here, is that we get vectors. This is why I also write them bold here. Um, you get a vector w, this is a column vector, but this transposition means we lie it flat of w0 until, well, in this case, just w1, but it could be more, could be more parameters, times, and now it's a column vector again, but not transposed in this case, so um, vertical, in this case just x0 and, um, yeah, it could be more, but in this case it's just x0 and x1. So the question now is, how does this relate to our given equation, which is y of x not a vector equals w0 plus w1 x not a vector. Well, let's compute this one over here. And what we get is w0 times x0 plus w1 times x1. So this is the way we are computing this um, matrix or vector multiplication, um, this dot multiplication. And if we compare this over here with our straight line equation that you know from school, then you see that two things are a bit different. So this x0 here doesn't really exist here. So um, we, what we want to do here is we want to set x0 to 1. Always. And this x1 here is our x there. So this is a one-dimensional x. And this over here is also one-dimensional, but it stems from this vector. So, um, yeah, in, in our case here, when we are given a single point, or a single uh, point on the x-axis, we just take this. So, for example, if we have um, the, um, yeah, if, have, if we have this model given with w0 and w1, and we want to compute the y position on our line, given an x position. We just fill it in here and then see what happens. And this is what we're doing now. We are drawing this line, but we are given some parameters. And these parameters are w0 equals 1 and w1 equals 2. So if we fill it in here, then we can see what happens. We'll get a straight line. I quickly open this here, but I'll explain it to you how to get to this. So the first thing um, we do if we have a line equation and want to plot it is we find two points or we find one point and um, the inclination. Um, so let's, let's find one point first. So one point could be, for example, um, the intersection 
with the y-axis. So x equals 0. We can fill it in here. And please keep in mind that these equations are just the same, but they look a bit different. So we fill it in here. y of 0 equals, and now we get 1 plus 2 times 0. So what we get here is a value of 1. So let's look here. We're finding the value on this axis over here. And this is in fact the value at this position. x-axis is 0, y-axis is 1. Okay, let's find a second point and then we connect them. So for example, let's fill in a 2 here. What happens? Well, we get y of 2 equals 1 plus 2 times 2 equals 5. So let's go to the position of 2. And what we get here is the value 5. And then we just connect them and we get a straight line. Please keep in mind that this can also be done the other way around. We can also be given a line and then we're supposed to create this equation here. The question is how could we do that? Well, first you can find the intersection with this axis here. And this is always this value because this becomes zero if x is zero. And the other one can be computed from the inclination triangle. So if we get this triangle and um, we take this delta y and this delta x, then this w1 over here is just delta y divided by delta x. And this is how, could, uh, how we could do this the other way around.